In the previous episodes, I've covered a premium sedan and a powerful SUV. So it was only right that I review an affordable hatchback that most people in a city like Kathmandu are looking for. That is why I have the Tata Tiago. As interesting and exciting big SUVs and sedans might be, they're not practical for a city like ours. What we need is something small, something affordable, something compact, something like the Tiago. The Tiago is an all-new hatchback car in the Tata lineup with an all-new concept. As smaller and manageable Tatas begin to get more preference to some of their other bigger vehicles, the Tiago comes as a clean sheet design, with which Tata seeks to reinvent its small car models. At the front, you find Tata's traditional smiling grille, but in a modern setting. They span outwards and flow back seamlessly into the large, swept-back headlamps at both ends. And even the raised bonnet design adds further to the look of this car. As far as its stance goes, the Tiago is a mid-sized hatchback, which looks smart and sporty, and it seems to fill out naturally all around, unlike the earlier Tata hatchbacks. At the rear end, distinctive spread-out tail lamps, a neatly sculpted tailgate, and a shapely bumper are complete with a rather sporty black and lower portion, in addition to the roof-mounted spoilers. This is a budget hatchback, but what it offers on the inside is really surprising. It's nothing short of a premium experience inside the Tiago, and it could even compete with some pricier cars. A lot has gone into the making of the interior, which comes with a number of nifty storage compartments here and there. up steering wheel, chunky column stocks and good visibility afforded by the large windows and low dashboard all add to the comfort of the driver. There's also the unique Juke Car app that allows each passenger in the car to add songs from the device via mobile hotspot to a playlist on the phone paired with the audio player. Tiago has included a Harman developed infotainment system, which sounds pretty awesome. arrangements are pretty comfortable with adequate cushioning and space. The rear seats can accommodate three people making this car suitable for a family of five. The single piece rear seat backrest can also be folded forward to free more luggage room, although the 240 liter boot is quite sufficient. The Tiago has a new 1.2 litre Revoton petrol engine that uses lightweight all aluminum construction with a 4 valve per cylinder DOHC setup. It's an undersquare engine with a bore and stroke measuring 77mm and 85.8mm respectively. Peak power is 83.8 bhp at 6000 rpm, while max torque of 11.6 kgm is produced at 3500 rpm. Performance isn't all that exuberant in any regards. It's an average performer and does justice to the price it carries. The power delivery could be a bit better and the clutch is light, but not very progressive. And the gearbox also requires effort to slot in at times. But having said that, this is not a car made for high performance and what it lacks in performance, it makes up in handling. The suspension performs quite good and it handles the corners very well too. There's also default city mode and also an eco mode to maximize fuel economy. However, we'd recommend the use of eco mode only when cruising the highway. And Tata promises a mileage of 23.5 km per litre in eco mode, which is something you don't see every day.
so let's get to a conclusion. The Tiago is a family car with great design, great interior, host of features, great mileage, and only costs 28.5 lakh rupees. So if you need a family car which is affordable and maintainable, this is it. We live around countless stories. Stories waiting to be discovered. Discover them through us, through our words, our lens, our voice, on any platform you like. Because we know what you prefer. Get your stories from MNS VMAG. Read, watch, listen.